Cambridge Ideas, transforming tomorrow. Every morning when I wake up, I don't know if I'm going to survive the day. I might get run over by a bus. I might have a heart attack. And part of me wants to be really cautious. But there's another part of me that actually would like to take risks. My name's David Spiegelhalter. I'm a professor of the public understanding of risk. It's a strange job title, but it means I look at the uncertainties we all face in our lives. I sometimes daydream about doing dangerous things, but as professor of risk, I really need to think carefully about what the consequences might be. Part of me likes a really big fry up for breakfast. The cautious parts of me would sit down to a really nice, sort of healthy bowl of porridge. I really feel like I've got a lot of bacon, but the cautious bit of me says that it's not going to do my weight or my heart much good. And also, I know, I know from recent work that it's going to increase my risk of bowel cancer if I eat a bacon sandwich every day. Well, after I've had breakfast, I've got to get to work. And uh, the risky side of me would, would get on his bike and pedal off at great speed, no helmet, weaving through the traffic. But really, you know, the cautious bit of me says, oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cycling looks safe and it might be healthy. But really, if I look at the statistics, it's probably safer to drive. Because I can drive 200 miles on average to have a one in a million chance of being killed. There's a name for a one in a million chance of dying. We call it a micromort. It's a, it's a funny name, but useful for comparing, for example, different ways of traveling. Oh, oh. Because on a bike, I only get 20 miles on a micromort. That's one tenth the distance in a car. On average, you only get about six miles per micromort on a motorbike. Really high risk way of traveling. But even if I went out and started taking drugs, if I took ecstasy, it's about one micromort for a, for a ecstasy session. Well, the risky parts of it, you'd quite like to you know, win a few million quid, so I could go and buy a, a lottery ticket. But then the cautious bit of me says, ah, oh, no, look, that's one pound, and all you guys are one in 14 million chance of winning the jackpot. That's just as big as the chance of me getting killed cycling to go and buy the lottery ticket. Well, there are risks associated with the workplace. If you've got a low paid job, and in particular if it's a job that's stressful, and if you're not in control of, of your working environment, then there's been shown to be increased risks to your health. We do need that report very soon indeed. Particularly heart disease. I've got a nice, well paid professor's job in Cambridge, and I can control how I work. So I'm in a fairly low risk situation. When I'm at work, I study survival, how long people are going to live, and I can see the statistics. And I know that for 55-year-old men like me, out of 100 of those, nine are going to die before they're 65. And this, it's very worrying. When I start looking at these decisions that I have to take every day, I find that sometimes the cautious side wins and sometimes the risk-taking side wins. When I look carefully at, at the risks of eating a big bacon sandwich every day, then I can see that it's going to increase the chances of me getting bowel cancer. Out of a hundred ways in which things might turn out in the future, in about five of them, I'm going to have bowel cancer. And that would go up to six if I were to eat a big bacon sandwich every day. But I think that that harm is not large enough to stop me eating bacon. I'm not going to give it up. Now, the cautious me would, would choose to drive to work. But in fact, the cycle for me is such a pleasure that I choose to cycle, I choose to take that extra risk. For me it's a matter of getting some balance in my life between caution and a certain amount of risk taking. So I like to have a drink and I really like to try to have fun. 
And one of the things I do is play in a samba band. A particular risk to my life in that I don't know what anyone's going to think of me doing. Being English, of course, I'm more worried about being embarrassed than dying. I'm a professor of risk, and so it's my job to think about these things. And I've come to the conclusion that one of the biggest risks is being too cautious. I always think of myself as a professor of risk encouragement. <laughs>